we went from our busiest season to three weddings that we designed and executed. After COVID-19 postponed their big day for an entire year, couples are finally walking down the aisle. We see daily steps in the right direction where we can get back to business as normal. Bryn Swanson is an event planner based in Denver. Weddings are picking back up, but with new safeguards. We have had a few requests to make sure that all of the vendors are vaccinated. Um, which is an interesting, again, gray area. And to host a wedding without masks, Swanson says some couples are even asking guests if they've been vaccinated for COVID. They're encouraging people to get a shot, but not requiring it. Questionnaires on vaccination, non-vaccination, those guests that are comfortable providing their vaccination is great. And if they aren't, we can do rapid testing. Because their wedding world is so much smaller than ours, um, they kind of assume, like, am I the only person who's asking this uncomfortable question? Some couples Caitlin Amanatula is working with are adding inserts into invitations, requesting guests to get the vaccine. So we've been trying to, like, word that in a way, too, that doesn't sound like really in your face, I guess. <laughs> There's a good chance not everyone showing up will be protected against the virus. So you have to be sure that you mix the vaccinated and unvaccinated people in the right way to try to keep those unvaccinated people protected. Nine health expert Dr. Pyle Coley explains there are ways to keep unvaccinated people safe. If you separate all the unvaccinated people into one table, one sick person at that table who's asymptomatic but infected could make all of them sick at, at the same time. Many of the rules from before are gone, but planners are preparing for some challenges to stay for a little longer. Maybe 2023 that will like really get back to a normal timeline with wedding planning. Kelly Rinke, Nine News.